Zero the Crypto Miner here. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a Bitmain power supply to a D3 Ant Miner Crypto Miner. Now first we're going to orient the two machines so that the intake fans are both on the same side. That way when you run power to the unit, the power is easily connected. Now there are 10 six pin power connectors. Now I'm going to show you where all 10 of these six pin power connectors go. Nine of these pin connectors will go to the boards. One will go to the main motherboard. First we start with the two single power connectors. Six pins. First we connect to the motherboard. Next we connect the other nine plugs in. They go in kind of goofy, but they go in. One. Now to save time, we're going to skip right to pin number 9. There we have it. Three sets of three six pins and one going to the motherboard. Next, we're going to connect the three pin power connector to the power supply. Once that's secure, we plug in the ethernet plug. And it's that simple. Now it's connected to the internet and power. Now we're gonna power the unit up. Now if you're running more than one unit, you'll have to connect to a splitter. Once you connect it up, you'll get a yellow light green light on your ethernet and a green light on the function side and now it's PC time we connect to the unit through the IP address first we're going to have to download an IP scanner this will help you find which IP belongs to your unit the IP address is the computer address for that particular unit next you'll have to log in to the IP. The default password and username are root. R-O-O-T. Once the unit's up and running and you're connected to the IP, you will see the control page. After you have the unit up and running, I would download the NoFee Dev Miner. It's a firmware update you can download from eBay. This firmware will stop your machine from collecting developer fees. With the stock firmware, a portion of your mining funds will go to the developers. Also with this firmware, you can make full adjustments to your machine. Power consumption, fan speeds, frequencies, and more. Well, that's pretty much it. Once you get her up and running, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll see if I can answer. Good luck mining.